Okay, I am no longer on the bench, but I remain a concerned citizen and a supporter of the Ottawa Hospital. And I want uh, the new civic campus to continue to serve the best interests of this city. As someone born and brought up in Ottawa, I've always been of the view that the civic is uh, vitally important to the city and in fact has been a uh, jewel uh, whose excellent reputation is well deserved. But in my life as a lawyer and as a judge in the Superior Court, it was always clear and it's certainly an accepted principle that justice must not only be done, but must be seen to be done. In the case of the selection of the site for the construction of the new civic campus, the process must be just and fair. The transparency of the process is therefore essential. Now the NCC recommended the Tunney's Pasture site, but that recommendation was overturned in an extremely quick and largely unknown process. And so what brings us here today is uh, the double question of why, how, uh, was that result arrived at? So let's look at the evidence. On the one hand, we have a six month study by the NCC on the other hand, we have a few days of meetings and phone calls between politicians past and present and members of the hospital board and some unknown members of the public. Next, on the one hand, the NCC evaluated 12 different sites according to 21 criteria arrived at with significant input from the hospital. The evaluations of each site were done by a team of specialists, including those knowledgeable in architecture, planning, urban design, uh, heritage, archaeology, agriculture, agronomy, and engineering. On the other hand, we know there was an Ottawa Hospital Board and politicians who discussed next. On the one hand, we know that the NCC had an open house attended by 400 people. Questions were asked and answered. On the other hand, we don't know if any public input. On the one hand, we know the NCC conducted an online public service a survey, sorry, to which there were 7,695 respondents on the other hand, next, on the one hand, the NCC produced a 286 page report recommending the Tunney's site. That was on November 24th, 2016. On the other hand, after one Ottawa Hospital Board meeting lasting one hour and 15 minutes, the uh, Ottawa Hospital Board rejected the Tunney's site on November 29th. And then on December 2nd, it was announced that the new site had been chosen, but it wasn't Tunney's. The only reason given for that rejection is one paragraph in the Ottawa Hospital Board minutes, and the mayor and others gave no reasons. In assessing answers, I long ago learned that contradictions need to be explained. Some politicians, for example, were initially for the Tunney's site, then changed their minds, some at lightning speed. I also know from my background that non-answers can be revealing. I think they need to be further investigated. So there certainly seem to be big gaps in what has been disclosed to the public. I think questions need to be answered, and I think an inquiry would do that. My interest in this is very similar to Monique's, that here we have a complex decision where an enormous amount of effort was put into the study of the decision by the NCC, a very voluminous report produced over a period of many months, and then the whole thing was overturned without any published report in the space of about three days. And the question is why? And that's a question which I would like to see answered by an open inquiry into just what was said 
in addition to the published report. Thank you. He took their time and contributed to that study and survey. Not everyone was in support of Tani's passion. Many of those people were in support of experimental trials. But I'm pretty certain that none of those 7,000, or very few of those 7,000, had Russell Mills' home phone number and phoned him asking for a direct meeting. Again, I want to be very clear. I am not saying anybody is Seth Blatter. I am not saying there's necessarily any corruption. But I am drawing your attention to the statements by these very prominent people that need to be examined. Ladies and gentlemen, we need a public inquiry. This is a big election year for Ottawa. In June of 2018, we're going to have a provincial election. In November, we're going to have a city election. And we need this deal, this transaction that affects public land, that affects development, that affects our health, to be looked at. As our judge said, justice needs to be transparent. And at this moment, there are too many questions around this. Thank you. Merci beaucoup.